There is a shortage of genuinely funny shows out there, so I think I can forgive uh, Two Weeks to Live for having a few flaws, but overall, I'd say it's a pretty good show. It's not perfect. I'd say it's good, not great, but it's definitely a diverting way to pass the time. The episodes are only 26 minutes long, so things move at a pretty brisk clip. Uh, I will say the biggest problem for me was that a lot of the plot elements seem kind of random and that they don't really contribute to the story in a significant way. Uh, if you're interested in the show, you're probably interested because of Maisie Williams, obviously, who played another very, very famous <laughs> assassin-type character in Game of Thrones. And there are definitely nods to that character here. Uh, you Definitely in the second episode, there was a fight scene where something happened that was a very, very clear nod intended to be noticed by fans of Game of Thrones. Uh, but this role really lets Maisie Williams flex her comedic chops. And as I said, there's a shortage of funny shows out there. So to me, that really helps to sell this. Uh, I think the most obvious comparison might be Killing Eve. It kind of has a similar offbeat uh, energy. But whereas that show was pretty slick, this kind of feels random and decidedly odd. I definitely feel like there's a purposeful oddness to this. It has a very unique uh, style. The dialogue is constantly, constantly pretty funny. And I imagine that if you're the type of person who likes to find shows to quote, you'll find a lot of quotes here that will stick out in the mind. Uh, there's also some dialogue that comes off as unnatural, but the show even kind of pokes fun at this. Uh, it's kind of an action show, only not really. There's an extended fight scene in the second episode that goes on for quite some time, but I personally feel that most action scenes on television, they have a sameness to them. It's very hard to do a standout fight scene unless you have the budget of Game of Thrones. And to me, this show is decidedly more of a low-key vibe in terms of the action. But what makes it work is the humor and how they're playing with action tropes and using the action scenes to build a character. I thought that the reason that this fight scene managed to stay engaging despite the fact that the choreography was pretty average. Uh, Maisie Williams is pretty convincing in these fight scenes, I think. She definitely does a better job selling them than a lot of actresses would, and that's kind of not that surprising given how good she was at selling the action scenes in Game of Thrones. But the delivery of her lines and the delivery of the lines by her opponent in this fight, uh, Sean Pertwee, who is kind of reminding me of a Ray Winston type character, that really helped to make this scene funny and memorable. And that's kind of how the whole show goes. There's a lot of scenes that are kind of cliched and not that um, integral to the development of the story, but because they're always funny and you're getting to see these colorful characters and you're getting to hear a lot of interesting and funny dialogue, you know, it just goes down pretty smoothly. I found it entertaining. Obviously, the cast includes uh, Sean Clifford from Fleabag, and of course, she's a delight here as usual. She kind of has a type of character that she always plays. Here, she plays the mother of uh, the character played by Maisie Williams. And there's kind of an odd dynamic here, uh, but the scenes between them that just crackled with chemistry, uh, I don't really want to get into the plot too much. Suffice it to say that Maisie Williams is playing a very, very sheltered character who is trying to avenge her father's death. And there's a lot of humor that derives from how sheltered she is. And Maisie does a fantastic job selling it. It's a really good role for her. Uh, really happy to watch her. I feel like a lot of Game of Thrones actors have trouble breaking away from Game of Thrones. Kit Harrington, for instance, I feel like he's always going to be Jon Snow. And I'm not sure how well that's going to work for him once he does Marvel movies. Uh, if you haven't seen Game of Thrones, maybe this will work for you, him playing a variation of 
the Jon Snow character, but I haven't seen him demonstrate a ton of range. But Maisie Williams here, I feel, shows that she could have a much, much more bright career in terms of her ability to be adaptable and uh, to play different kinds of roles. And the other supporting members of the cast are uniformly excellent. Uh, you've got Mawan Rizwan. I'm hoping I'm pronouncing his name right, but it's hard to find these actors' names online. Uh, but he plays basically a straight man who's along for the ride and is just kind of reacting to the crazy shenanigans that Maisie Williams' character is pulling. And then you've got Tahin Modak kind of playing the goofy friend of the straight man. Uh, I wish I could give more details on their characters. They're definitely, you know, pretty uh, funny characters and it's enjoyable watching them react to the situations that develop. And a lot of situations uh, do develop. It's very off the wall humor uh, where violence and death are often the punchline. Uh, and I, you know, like I said, I think this is really, really enjoyable. So those are my thoughts. If you're interested in seeing my reviews of other upcoming shows, uh, please consider subscribing to the channel. Thanks for watching. <laughs>